Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another episode in my Rugby Union Team Manager 3 series as the Bristol Bears. Episode number 9. We have hit a rich vein of form. We're flying up the table. I say flying, we've moved two places. We've won our last two Premiership matchups. We're undefeated in the Challenge Cup. Things are going perfectly well. In the previous episode, we beat Leicester Tigers away from home at Welford Road, who was sat in third in the table. So a real sign that this advice you've given me and the tactical changes are working wonders. So before we get into today's episode, which is a blockbuster matchup against Gloucester, who are second in the table, please do drop a like if you've enjoyed today's content. Leave a comment down below, I get back to all of them. Again, please continue with the advice and the tips. And if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. So here we are then, ready for a big matchup at Ashton Gate against Gloucester who are second in the table. We're down in ninth, but we're finally picking up some form. There has been a few injuries, unfortunately. So we will probably be having to make changes. Siali Pietel got injured in the last matchup. Dave Atwood got banned for a high tackle. And since then in training, I believe Purdy has also picked up an injury. So here we go. There are injured players selected in the main squad. These players must be deselected. So let us take a look dave atwood just for starters band give me that scroll bar where are you there we go we've got siali piertel injured henry purdy injured and that is it so let's have a little look first with dave atwood let's have a look at the lock position we've got ed holmes there we've got joe joyce anyone else Ben Earl still injured. Uh, we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with the King of South Mead, Joe Joyce. We're going to get him in there at lock. Who else have we got? Siali at inside centre. We need to take a look at. So let's have a look. Let's get down here to inside centre. We've got Sam Bedlow. Lago, Toby Fricker, Alipati Leua, Piers O'Connor as a utility back. I think we're going to go with Piers O'Connor inside centre. And then Henry Purdy on the wing. I think after his form in real life matchups, it is time to get Silva Nalago back involved in the team. Oh, sorry, I can't, can I? He's injured. Stupid, stupid me. Apologies for that. Of course, he is out injured, which is why he's not in the team at the minute. So we've got Adia Lokin who could come in. Leua. Even the own Lloyd can play on the wing. Who are we going to go for? I think we've got to go with Leua, haven't we, to come in on the wing. Um, is the bench okay? The bench is okay. Let's look at fitness. It's all on 99. So it doesn't seem to be an issue for rotating players who are playing well. Because the fitness always seems to be in a good proportion. Um, yeah, and that looks like that is it for the team. Let's have a look at the Colts. The Colts have beaten Gloucester. The Academy have lost, unfortunately. And again, no fines. Good work. Let's continue to the match squad. First match of the episode, Gloucester at Ashton Gate. Look at these green dots, absolutely perfect. Gloucester here, Danny Cipriani playing, Willie Hines, Johnny May, Reese Zamet of course as well, 18 years old. Let's fly off and see how we do. It's going to be tough there, second in the table. But we are in a rich vein of form and we are at home. So hopefully we can do something here. And yet again, it is snowing. Bristol is under a blanket of snow. Let's see how we get on. So we start off with the ball around the halfway line. Snow everywhere, a little up and under from Harry Randall. We managed to keep possession. So far so good for the Bears. 
up to halfway, looking to do something. We have a little line break there, and Luke Morahan has gone in for a try. What a start. Incredibly how well we're doing at the minute. Knock on Dan Thomas, though, although we have managed to win the scrum. Penalty. She's going to kick to touch, and let's see if we can put some more pressure on Gloucester. See if we can make this good first 20 minute period count. Not a lot to shout home about for Gloucester so far. Out on the wing, not really any support. Comes back in, we're edging towards the 22. Can't really break the line at the minute it seems. Try to go out wide again. Gloucester have turned it over in the breakdown and they are away, that was lucky. If they had a support line running there, they would have found him and could have gone all the way for a try, but good defending from Bristol so far. Although that is a penalty and Gloucester have won it back just on the edge of the 22. Slowly making up ground. Half time is gone and Gloucester have gone in in the corner. They've missed the conversion, but that is a good, good first half entertaining for sure you can tell that they are a good good team let's get the assistant doing some changes and things we've got ourselves a penalty decision we need to get some points on the board promising first 25 minutes or so in the first half Gloucester have come right back into it as the game has gone on Brian Byrne there oh yes lovely we're in Harry Randall Again, I can't remember the last time he's not scored in a game. So well, and we take the 14 points to 5 advantage. Knock on from Dan Thomas, unfortunately, putting us under pressure. But again, our scrum and our forwards are doing the job. Max Malins has come on at fly half. He's kicked the touch. Unfortunately, we didn't win the line out. So Gloucester have got the ball back. But they're going to need to do something rather quickly a Gloucester on the halfway line less than 20 minutes left they have managed to break clear and they have it looks like Cipriani's going to go over the try is converted as well so we have a two point game just over 10 minutes left what is going on here just hold on to the ball Bristol well it'd be nice to win the ball back first they haven't ah Come on, win that back. Come on, the forwards. Lovely stuff. Man. Right, just slow out the clock. That was brilliant defence and Gloucester were away. They really were. Kick to touch. Less than five minutes left and we're going to need our best defensive effort here. On the halfway line. Out wide. Again, they're in a promising position. Time is up on the clock. We need to win this back. We need to force some errors here. We need to win this back. Gloucester doing well. They're in. Unbelievable. Last kick of the game and the winning streak is over. Danny Cipriani, man of the match. 19 points to 14. We were leading the whole way. The full 80 minutes. Gloucester made it count when it mattered. Unbelievable. Some poor ratings there along the forward line. I thought they didn't play too badly. It just couldn't really make it count in the end. Yeah, nothing spectacular. Piers O'Connor, Charles Piertau on the Gloucester side. Look at this. 86, 80, 83. Cipriani with a 95. Johnny May with a 91. Unbelievable. The losing, the winning run, sorry, has come to an end and that's put a halt on us progressing up the table. I mean, it wasn't a disappointing performance, really. Home loss, yeah, cheers, Mark. I mean, we played well for literally the whole game. It was just when it mattered. Harry Randall was right up there for player of the year. We've dropped ourselves back down to 10th. Gloucester up to uh, still in 2nd. Yeah, disappointing, but like I said, it wasn't a terrible performance. I'm quite happy to stick with things as they are, I think. Just because, you know, we were winning for the majority of the game. Another transfer bid there, Joe Joyce this time. See you later, son. No way. 
you're getting the King of South Mead. How could you? Yeah, fuck. Question marks there. Really was. I thought we played well. I thought the forwards really took it to him up front. Defence was going well. Apart from the first 20 minutes, we didn't really create a massive amount, I would say. And next we are up against Kozi. Or I can never remember how to pronounce that one. Is there a way we can look at the... Can we look at the... Challenge Cup competition, is there a way to... Look at, I mean, we haven't lost the game, so I mean, we're pretty much guaranteed, aren't we? It would be nice just to be able to... Uh, uh, we've got board competitions, here we go, it's got to be in here, isn't it? Challenge Cup competition overview. Um, here we are then, here are the pools. Bristol Bears absolutely flying, four out of four. And we should be beating these boys, they haven't won a single game yet. And, wow, we're pretty clear, aren't we? We are pretty clear there. Let's get ourselves to the main squad. I can never remember how to get players. Here we go. Mm. I don't know, we should be giving a few of these players a rest, shouldn't we, really? Team selection, there we go. God, that was difficult for some reason. Um, yeah, let's give a, let's swap a few around. Play some youngsters. I think we're gonna go with Tiff Eden at fly half. Gonna get Andy Uren in at scrum. Fullback, we're gonna fullback. Shall we? Let's go, you and Lloyd. Gonna give Semi a rest. Outside centre. Who can we get in there then? Let's get Sam Bedlow in there. Can give Morhan a rest as well. We're gonna get Adi Alokin on. Uh, number eight. Should we give Big Nathan Hughes a rest? There isn't really. Uh, we've got Mitch Eady there who can come in at eight. I suppose Dan Thomas. We're going to give the skipper a rest, are we? No, we need a bit of experience there, I think. Joe Joyce is going to carry on at lock. And we're going to chuck in Ed Holmes as well. Cole Sinclair at tight head. Jake Armstrong. Harry Thacker at hooker. Will cape on and then Benjamin Button is going to come off for Ian Thomas. And uh, yeah, I think that is a change up we could do with. Link to the main squad, don't know if you can hear that, but my dog is barking away. I think we've got to get ourselves a new captain, haven't we? Link to the main. Lesson, oh, lesson, of course, the sub bench. Stupid. Uh, let's go, we'll put John Afer on the bench for a bit of experience, right then, who else should we get on there, do, 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 do. let's get Chris Cook on there, a few players involved, Ooh. that's like what you say, the scroll bar needs to be a different colour, it really does. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's get Toby Fricker on there as well. Now that should do it. Yeah, happy with that. Here we go then. Let's just get straight into it. Ashton Gate. And see what this mixed squad can do. Is it snowing again? No, the snow has disappeared. 
We'll get it on fast. Change the camera to my liking. And here we go then. See what this mixed lineup of youngsters can do. An instant knock on. They've won the penalty in their three zip up straight away, our opponents. 40 metres to goal. Should we answer back with a kick at goal? Absolutely nowhere near from Tiff Eden. Probably should have kicked the touch there. It was quite far out. Disappointing. Hopefully, like I said, it doesn't really matter too much the result here. We've won every single game in our pool stage so far. They are knocking down the doors and they've scored a try, so not a great start for this young lineup, young mixed lineup. Yeah, good good defending. We're keeping them pinned up there. On the twenty-two. Kicked to touch. Ewan Lloyd coming back up to halfway. Bit of an up and under there. Fortunately, they have won it back. We've got five minutes or so until half time. Let's hope they don't get any more points on the board before then. Yeah, they're going to end there yet. Another try. You can't really argue with that. A pretty poor first half. Let's get the auto manage on for everything. Let the assistant change a few things up. Another knock-on, Jan Thomas has been two knock-ons already in this game. Kick to touch, and yeah, we haven't really, um, nothing really to shout home about at all. Can't remember really us getting anywhere near the 22, let alone anything else, and this is going to be another score. Easy enough, and we're taking a bit of a pounding here. Hopefully... This isn't detrimental to the team. We've lost our previous match against Gloucester and another loss here hopefully will not start a slide for us. That's for sure. But I mean, this is a very different team. We've won it back on the 22. Can we salvage a bit of pride here in the last 20 minutes or so? Another knock on, this time from Jake Woolmore. Disappointing stuff. We've got slippery hands today. There's no snow about. Up and under there. Good catch under the high ball. And they're away again. Another up and under. They love that one. Luckily we've taken it this time. Coming up 15 minutes left. We managed to break through. And is this going to be our first score of the game? It is. Pierce O'Connor goes in. So there is one score, missed conversion. We've got 10 minutes left. There isn't any way we're going to pick up a win here, that's for sure. Max Malins is on now. Even if we convert a try now, this is much better. Much better from the boys. Piers O'Connor again goes in. So as soon as a few of the bigger boys have stepped onto the pitch, we've played a lot better. Malins, Piers O'Connor really pulling the strings and it's disappointing because we've hit 80 minutes now yeah that's the end of the game much better in the second half but disappointing from the young lineup in the first half nothing really to write home about Piers O'Connor, Ewan Lloyd putting in a good performance which is good to see Brandon Nansen with the man of the match award and yeah, not really a lot else we can say about that disappointing performance, but some of the big boys were rested, ready for the next matchup, which again is in the Challenge Cup. Home lost Mark Tayton, yeah, I understand. Mark, we have lost, you are right. Uh, let's have another look at competition, shall we, and just see what that does in the... Challenge Cup overview. We go to the pool stage. I think it was four, was it? Yeah. Of course, we are top. We're up against Zebra and what I imagine is the final game of the pool stages. So, yeah, is it time to bring the big boys back? Or should we just let it roll? 
I mean, if, yeah, Zebra are going to beat us, aren't they? Perhaps we should have put the boys out for the last game, but there we go, so be it. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Next episode, Zebra followed by Northampton Saints who are right down the bottom, so you would hope that that would be a matchup we could win for sure and get back onto winning in winning formula, winning ways, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, disappointing two losses in this episode. It's not been a it's been a long time since that happened. Certainly not gonna be having that. You're deleting or you're getting away. But yeah, we'll leave it at that for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Two losses, not the greatest thing at all, but there we go. We can't win them all. The run had to come to an end at some point, and we didn't play too badly against Gloucester, really, I don't think. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like. It really helps out the channel and helps other people find my content. Leave a comment down below. I get back to all of them. Give me some more tips, advice. Let me know what you want to see happening in this series. And if you haven't already, please move that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode and I'll see you in the virtual scrum.